What's up everybody, it's Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions and today we're going to be taking a look at sample looping inside Studio One. What's up everybody, it's Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com. Today we're going to be doing a sampling tutorial that's going to look at um, looping and finding the tempo of a sample and chopping it. Um, but we're not going to be playing chops, we're going to do that in another one. First I want to say what's up to some new subscribers. I got Daryl Garvin, Ping Pong Studio, Rolla Carton, um, Corey Langston, Raphael Ichi. But if you were my friend, I would call you Raph. Um, Street Lion Studios, Behold the Knock, that's a dope ass name, Lord O's, and see I like that because he spelled the Lord with an E at the end, so I, I, I thought that was fucking super creative and sarcastic, so I went and checked out this um, this dude's um, channel. And he's got he's got some dope ass beats, bro. So I so I subbed you up, Lord. That was, you, you're tight. Um, Dow Bells, Maddie Music, Tim Reynolds, and Chuck Zilla. I want to say what's up to all you guys. Thanks for subbing the channel. I appreciate the love. I'm gonna keep dropping this content for everybody. Um, but to get into what we're doing, I got this sample here. That if if you know if you know '90s hip hop, um, that might have sounded a little bit familiar to you. If we go over to this part right here, y'all should my '90s head should know this part. This is a classic. A little bit naughty, what my mind, soul, and my body. I can't have my boo boo's about to have my baby. I'm so tired. So, yeah, my man JJ hit me up and he wanted to see about how to do, um, you know, finding the tempo and looping and just more information about sampling. I noticed you guys fucking love sampling, which is which is awesome because um, it's not something that I'm really that into, but it's cool to be able to, um, you know, to have you guys push me to do videos and stuff. So. So say uh, say you're listening to, you're listening to this like if I if if I'm going to make a, a sample type of beat somebody wants a sample beat uh, the way that I I have a couple of things that I do the first thing that I do is I listen to the whole song you know because I just want to get a feel for the song so I'll listen to this whole song and in the process of listening to this I will have heard this loop. And I would have freaked out, you know what I'm saying, because that's a that's a killer loop. The instrumentation is good. The vibe is awesome. It's got light percussion in it, so it's easy to sync it up um, to a BPM. It doesn't have a kick, and it doesn't have a snare that's overpowering, and it doesn't have a lot of bass. Like, when you hear something like that, like, that's a golden loop, dude. Like, all, all you got to do is you know get in there add your drums and add your bass and you've got you know you got a pretty straight boom bap beep or you know slow it down trap it out whatever you want to do um so the first thing that i would do is i would zoom in and find you know find the beginning of this all right so i see that here's my first note you know um you want to work on your ear eye coordination and um, just getting used to um to seeing you know to seeing a wave and recognizing the sound so you know the first thing i would do is i would zoom in super close find find the beginning of where this thing starts out and i would set a loop point right now i'm gonna drag this guy out and this goes, um, this is kind of, 
this is kind of an older technique like I know that you know I know that you could highlight it and you know take it into Melodyne and you know maybe it'll tell you the right um, tempo maybe it won't based on transient detection but you know just from doing this for a long time you know what what you would do is you would find the beginning of something and set a loop point you know first truncated then set a loop point and then adjust the tempo you know to, f to find how it loops the way that I do that in studio one is so I can see already that this transient right here is the next part of the phase or, or the next part of the freight the next the beginning of the next phrase rather okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna drag my loop point out like this um, you know and this helps out you don't have to just click and hold down here I like that in studio one you can bring it down into you know into the wave and set your point like that and I like to zoom in as, as close as possible so I can get it accurate. And then what I'll do is I'll just play this and see if it loops. Boom, perfect loop. You know what I mean? Once you got that, okay, then what you could do is um, you know, you want to zoom in as close as you can. Get rid of that. God damn you. All right. <laughs> Just zoom in as close as you can right because we got this awesome loop with no clicks and pops and just you know put your um put your slice tool out just hit three on the number pad boom chop it there so you got your one chop and we'll come over here drop this guy down and give a little a little chopperoo okay now you know if, if you're like me you probably heard like two or three other parts that you want to sample in this thing so um in order to save that uh stuff for later i just kind of i just kind of put the rest of the song over here and then come over to the you know to the beginning of the track to um you know to figure to figure the tempo out and figure my life out so in order to find the tempo of this say we want to make it we want to make this a four bar loop um, I'm at 160 which is stupid high unless you're working at double time which I always do so all you gotta do is um, make sure um, you know, make sure that this uh, that this didn't save a file tempo in, um, in it. Otherwise, it's just going to stretch along with your um, with your tempo changes, and just you know, start bumping the tempo down until until your four bar loop matches up. Because remember, you already cut this as a perfect loop. Okay, so once your so once your wave matches up, you know your money, right? So. 79 is too fast, 78 is too slow. Um, what do I do, what do I do, I don't know. Okay, yeah, that's right. You could just do this. Hold down Alt, and get this little, um, this little clock icon to show up over your cursor. That's your time stretch, click and hold. Drag until you get to the bar. Now you've snapped this to the end of the bar, and it's also going to I think if you mess with the tempo right now. No, it's not. Okay. Now, once you've done that, 
you've set this to 78 right so once you have you know once you have your tempo set you want to go you can go in and now give this a file tempo 78 and the advantage that that has is now when you uh when you when you slow your tempo down or you speed it up it's going to it's it's going to stay locked in your loop so here you go And you, okay, so now you got your loop. What's the next step? Um, just go ahead and take this, press Control M, and then if you go ahead and just pay attention right here, you know, as long as you have this, um, if you're um, got your uh, your scale panel opened up. You can go ahead and it'll tell you right here the scale is G minor. So then all you got to do to uh, you know to go ahead and you know start having fun with your track is just set your scale to G to the minor. So, you know, just whatever, just start putting stuff in. You know, whatever, I'm, I'm not used to working in straight time, so that shit's confusing me, but you know, you know what I mean? Like, once you've got once you've got that uh that scale you can add whatever you want to it you can put whatever types of drums you want onto it so um you know that's that's pretty much it for for finding for finding a sample finding the time um looping it and getting the scale once you got that you you know you got everything you need to um to go ahead uh, to go ahead and make a uh you know to go ahead and make whatever type of song you want um an another cool thing you can do that i do a lot when you know when i t when i do these um these old hip-hop samples and you know put like my type of trap drums on it is i'll t i'll take it into double time so say you got this at you know 10 112 or whatever all right so i'll just take this and using my stretch tool and just drag it out to a you know to an eight bar loop you know and then you could you could put your double triumph drums on it and it'll work as well um, the pitch shift um, algorithm in studio one is awesome um, it is it's just as good or, or better than Ableton's like it's it, it, it might it, they might all be using the same thing but this thing is this thing is awesome it's definitely better since um since the 2.6 one i definitely noticed a difference but yeah you know that's that's all you guys got to do to uh you know to, to just find a section out of a song loop it remember if you know the golden ones or ones with light percussion don't have a lot of bass don't have a you know a shitload of kicks in there and um you listen for parts like that in the song and you're going to get close to, you know, recreating some of this more 90 sounding stuff because that used to be the parts of the song that you had to grab in order to make something um, that was even going to work because you didn't have these, you know, these crazy ass EQs and stuff like this. You just had a high cut filter and a low cut filter, you know, and that was it. But, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, tutorial. I hope, you know, I hope you can use it, you know, to go ahead and make more sample bangers. This is Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions and StudioOneTutorials.com. We'll see you on the next one.